Hi, Kat. Hi, John. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. Good. Pretty much the same as I am every time we start a podcast. I mean, which I, is, I love consistency. I do too. Well, I, we, I, we do this once a week usually. Yeah. That's that's our general schedule, and I look forward to it every week. Mm, me too. Um, partly because we almost always eat pizza, and, <laughs> and and we get to have beverages in the middle of the week. Yeah, it's and, nice. Um, yeah, and and uh, we just get to sit and shoot the shit. It's fun. It is. I like it. What it's is a, it? What do we call it? It's the My Mistake Podcast. It is. With John. And Kat. Welcome. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> that, was, Whoa. That, was, that was a little scary. We're pretty, starting to be the same brand. That was pretty good. Yep. Yep. <sighs> <sighs> so. Johnny. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Yeah, man? Uh, yeah. What's up? Yeah. Um, I mean, like, you know, <laughs> stuff, things, other stuff. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You? Right. Like, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little sad. Oh. So I'm wearing, what t-shirt am I wearing? You're wearing a Slater Kenny t-shirt. I am. Yeah. We discussed Sk- Slater Kenny a little bit uh, we did, recently. Recently. Yeah. And not long after we talked about it, the the longtime drummer announced that she's leaving the band. Well, fuck. Their new album isn't out yet. The tour has not begun and she's stepping away. Stepping Ooh. away before the tour? So that's not good. That's really messed up. Yeah. Like just from what I understand of the business, which is honestly a thimbleful, but you know, I can do five or 10 minutes on De- anything. Depending on who you ask. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, my understanding is that the majority of the money is not from the record. It comes from the tour. So sure. if she's leaving before the tour, must be pretty bad. She's she walking away from some money. Yeah. And she doesn't want to be in a bus with some people, I'm guessing. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. There's don't lots know. of speculation, but um, the diehards like myself are, or, yeah, we're kind of in sh- I mean, I'm in shock. I'm wrecked. Right, right. But I'm still going to go. I got tickets already for the concert. I'm going in November, like whatever. But it's a bummer. I'm hoping they're gonna. she'll come back around like Fleetwood Mac style. Ah. A couple years down the road, a couple yep. albums. She'll be like, all right, I'm back. But okay. we'll see. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe right. they'll just find an amazing drummer. I don't know. I don't know either. It would be hard. Yeah. And she's kind of like a le- like with a, within the community. She's kind of a legend. <laughs> right. She's a legendary drummer. So... It would be really hard um, to see somebody else behind that kit, but yeah. whatever. Do you, you think? Okay, so tell me, do you think, like, if if they had two drummers who were equal, and one was a man, one was a woman? Mm. <laughs> yeah, just. I mean, I'm looking at the demographic for the band. What do you think? Like, I mean, you gotta go. Uh, if they're equal, you gotta go with the woman. Absolutely. Right? What if the man's just like two percent better? Then go with the guy. All right. I'm curious. That's, that was, that's, I mean, I'm biased. Right, right. I like women. I, I do too. Uh, in almost every scenario. Me too. Yeah. Like I, I, I prefer to be friends with women for the most part. Hmm. I like to, you know, date women. Well, I don't like to date anymore at all. <laughs> wow, Other than John, I, I, what's happening? I, I take my wife on date night. It happens. Oh, okay, oh, that my. counts. There you go. And she's a woman. You're definitely. Da- it just so I'm, happens. You're dating your wife. I yeah. am. Good I am. for you. Long term. Anyway. Long-term relationship. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So okay. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. But, uh, yeah. I'll be. All, I'll be all right. Okay. That's good. Well, you know, nerds sometimes it can be. It can be tough. It's okay because yeah. uh, I just got really good news. One of my favorite TV shows has been greenlit for next season. Is that Longmire? No. No. No, that's okay. long gone. Oh, okay. It's it, it is a Western themed show that you'll never guess, I, and I, I'm sure nobody's ever heard of on this podcast. No, okay. What's it called? <laughs> it's called Winona Earp. I have seen a lot of Save Winona stuff, but I think it was mostly from like your posts. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Fair gonna enough. say, it, yeah. So I had really good news the other day, really bad news. So I'm I'm it's, actually it's all okay. It all it all. I'm just like okay, cool. I'm cool. I, I can deal. Cool. So John, yes. What are we talking about this week? Well, this week I thought you know there we've had some a uh, couple of um, well I I don't know that I don't know what our release order has been but we, we I've been telling some stories that are a little mm. harder to make funny than than some others that we've told recently so I thought for myself and for you and hey for the audience might be time to <laughs> might just, as well include them just yeah well you know I mean like yeah you guys are here we kind of invited you so you know yeah I guess we ought to roll out a carpet. Sure. Maybe it's red, maybe it's blue, I don't know. Whatever we have around. Whatever, whatever you feel like. Yeah. Uh, but no, I thought I'd tell kind of a silly story. I love silly. Uh, good. This is super silly, and it's about, it's a, it's, this is a recurring character now. Um, mm. This is, uh, you may or may not, and if you remember, like, wow, 
Maybe this is in the future when we have like diehard fans because I don't think anybody's going to remember Finn. Finn was one of the characters from when Finn. yeah from when we went drinking out on the on the football field. Yep. Yeah. Well, this is later when Finn and I are college roommates at Ball State University. Ball State University. Testicle Tech. Go Cardinals. <laughs> um, Testicle Tech. Yeah, yeah. That's a, a you know if you That's say funny. it if you say it wrong you might you might be in trouble. Oh. But if you went there and you call it that, it's okay. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Got it. <laughs> Not really. No. Oh. I don't really have any of that kind of feeling about <laughs> my old school. But um, I, I have very fond memories, however. Um, and this is not one of those. Oh. Or it is. It, it's a funny memory. Okay. So, okay. Um, first thing you need to know about Finn is um, Finn uh, marches to the beat of a very different drummer. I, I've never known anyone else who marches to that particular drummer's rhythm uh he's 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 his own dude okay and uh and that's what makes you love him so we were living in a dorm room together Mm -hmm. and we both we had put in i don't know if it still works this way but in in dorm rooms back in the day they're they're very small they're like 10 by 10 maybe they're a little bigger than 10 by 10 but but it's essentially just this room Mm -hmm. and then the bathroom's down the hall okay um but we'd had we had like uh, a sink and two desks and a, a divided dresser. And then the rest of the space is just open. So we had built or bought or something. We had lofts, hmm. which are basically kind of like bunk beds, but there's no lower bed. There's just an upper bed. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So we the way that they work is you kind of create another room within the room mm. because you have the two things that kind of wall it off. And then there's a couch under mine. And we had originally, <laughs> we had the TV under Finn's uh, thing. And then you could sit there. So you had like the TV room, but then you could go outside of the lofts okay. and that's where the desks were and the microwave and the sink and that kind of stuff. Great. So I, I hope you've all got a picture oh, in your I, mind. It's in my right? mind's eye. Excellent. So so that's what we're dealing with. Uh, now, Finn, I like. I want to say he's kind of like an engineer in that I don't want to say he's lazy. I mean, he is, but I don't want to say it. Oh, I see. And but but like <laughs> engineers tend to try to like figure out ways to not have to think about things. Okay. And this is like I, I'll give you an example of things engineers tend. Some engineers tend to do. Some engineers have all the same clothes. Like they'll have five pair of pants that are all identical. They will have like five or five or seven shirts that are all identical, mm-hmm. and that way they have a uniform. They never have to think about what they're going to wear in the morning. They just get up and they do that and they do all the laundry and they do all the shirts together and all the pants together. Steve and Jobs. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 So, and and like, here's a, here's an engineer thing that I used to do. Uh, I used to have to park in a parking garage mm. and it was an underground parking garage. Mm-hmm. I would always drive down to the very bottom floor because like you, you never knew if you were going to get a spot at the top floor. I would always drive down to the very bottom and park in the exact same spot every night. Interesting. So I never had to try to remember where I had parked my car. Oh, that's right? kind of smart. Right. right. So I like to attribute this to Finn, that he's just actually trying to save time to think about more important things. Mm. It's probably bullshit. He's probably just really lazy. <laughs> just lazy. But yeah. And, okay. and, and I love him to this day. We're not we're not great friends anymore, and it's partly because of this laziness. Oh, really? Well, uh, uh, okay. Are uh, you in contact with him? No, not regularly, not at all. No, not at all. And it's because, okay. well, because what it comes down to is he's 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 too lazy to maintain a friendship. Copy that. This is totally not something I should be saying, but whatever. Uh, like it's just yeah, it's it's you, it, you kind of at a certain point you feel like you're pouring your energy into a black hole. And I get that's, it. Yeah. But. Back then, mm. he did me a giant solid because I don't know if you can tell, but I uh, sometimes am a little over analytical, and I can be, I can have a little anxiety about I mean, what's going on. Then had <laughs> noticed that maybe, job. maybe maybe worry to an excessive degree <laughs> I mean, about we, things. We definitely don't have that in common. Okay, no, definitely, not at all. Because I, I know you're not like that. No, I, no. I don't know what that's like. Right. No, but let's just say for I do know what that's know. like. You whispered this time. Every That's- day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, and so w- when I was a kid, this could be like kind of crippling. I mean, it was, it was, it, it could be really bad. Sure. Um, and what, what Finn did for me was to, uh, and I, this is funny because it goes back to a little bit of a recurring theme for me. I'm a fan of the Indigo Girls. 
I and love that about you. I, yeah. And I'm sorry no, well, because of the way you've been treated. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I've still really enjoyed the concerts, and I've never actually gotten my ass kicked. Just a lot of threatening and, and posturing, but whatever. Uh, in any case, there's a, there's a lyric by the Indigo Girls um, that, that is, the best thing you've ever done for me is to help me take my life less seriously. It's Aww. only life after all. And I always said that that's what Finn did for me. You know like, what, John? Yeah. I gotta listen. I gotta go back and listen to some Indigo Girls. It's been a while. And God, they are so good. They're so good. Tapping into that sort of like mm-hmm. the, the you and you and I are a type. Yeah, yeah. They really spoke to to us. Oh yeah. Well, it was it was <sighs> people who had anxiety, yeah. had like social maybe not phobia i don't know but just like high social awareness to the point where we would dig our own graves by trying to be really you know cool or got in our own way yeah yeah they're great they are okay so anyway that's what finn did for me and it's a shame that our friendship is not really survived i mean we are we'll all if you were to call me tomorrow you know i would show up um yeah i have friends like that yeah Mm -hmm. i i feel like if if i were to call him i don't know Oh, and that's that's the problem. I have friends like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, here's here here is a story about um, what that I've I I have always said of Finn. This just proves that he is the laziest man in the world. Okay, and and the I'm I'm shoehorning this in a little bit. That's fine because it really it comes down to a wager on his soul that oh. that his empathy for his fellow man would be stronger than. His laziness. Wow, I can't wait to hear this story. Okay, Okay. here's how it goes. So Mm. cut to Mm. the day we're moving into our dorm room, right? And we're moving our lofts in and putting them together because they're bolted together and all this kind of stuff. And we realize, oh shit, this is not going to fit right because there's a lamp that is bolted into the wall (laughs) right where we want to put this loft up against the wall. So Uh, sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I never went away to college. I've never, I've never been in a dorm room. And you're not at all self conscious about that. No, I'm no. totally cool with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, School of hard knocks over here. <laughs> these lofts. So yeah. you get to. Are they like? Did you bring these with you, or they're like? Here's your lofts. Go put them where you want. Oh no, we we I we bought them. Uh, they were pre cut and got it. Like, you, Put you are together. customizing your your dorm room. Yeah, got it. Yeah. This is not. This is, doesn't come with the dorm. No, not okay. at all. This Copy is that. this is. It's allowed, but it's like not at all. They provide you with beds. Got it. But the lofts are something you have to buy yourself. And cool. so, what it basically it, it raises your bed up like yeah. s- almost six feet up off. You're the floor. increasing your your the space, the that floor you have. space, because your bed Copy. isn't on the floor. You can go under where your bed is. Got it. Right. So. Um, so yeah, so the problem is that like we need to fit these snug up like you know where they you know where they go like, up against the wall. But there's a lamp that is that is bolted into the wall. Well, it's yeah. So I figure out, oh okay, I can take this out of the wall. But the problem is it's not meant to be taken off the wall. Yeah. So what happens when you take it off is that there's a plate behind it, mm-hmm. a metal plate, and there are wires that exposed well right when you once you remove it you undo the wire nuts and now there's just wires hanging out right so there's a live electrical wire it's not good John. no no it's really not uh but anyway we happen to find out uh by now i was gonna say trial and error by error oh um that uh if you accidentally touch the live wire which is which is black <laughs> If you, uh-huh. No, no, not with your skin, because oh, then oh. you're just in trouble. Okay. But if you accidentally touch that to the metal plate in the wall, it will arc, oh. and it will cause the circuit breaker to trip, and um, not all of the electricity on the entire dorm room floor, where I'm going to say about 200 people live. Oh, um, boy. Not all of the electricity, but only like certain circuits go out. So like- Most of it. Most of it. <laughs> like, and, and it's kind of a crapshoot about who has what plugged into what socket. Right? Amazing. So, yeah. So we found that out. And then when we did, um, somebody was like, oh, damn, all the power went out. I'm like, oh, I don't know. How the hell did that happen? I, I don't know. And then the RA or residence assistant. Oh, thank is, you. Yeah, yes. Mm-hmm, yeah. That? Uh, it most, yeah, dorms have these and they're like mostly... They're narcs. They really, they really are. They really are. They're like people who, 
either out of necessity or cheapness back mm. then. Because like, frankly, now do anything you can if you want to get a college degree. But back then, it was not like it is now. You Got didn't it. you didn't leave school with like four hundred thousand dollars of debt. It's yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, by the way, I I am never going. Anytime millennials, if you think I'm making fun of you, I'm really not. It's I'm just saying young people and how it's yeah. different from from me. No, but, we're at yeah. the end of the day, I think we're on their side. Oh, totally. Yeah. This is a bullshit world they're growing up in. Boy, we fuck things up oh, for them. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna say our parents fuck Compa- things it's up. It's been compounding. Yes. But yeah, we have yeah. not made it any. We easier. haven't helped. No. I feel like we haven't we haven't the boomers really, really set the, well, they fucked the us. fuck up method. Yeah, they in, fucked in, us. Yeah, they did. So But we're not helping. No. No, well, we're the sandwich generation. I don't know. Is if that you know a thing? That. Yes. Didn't know that. Yes. Uh, we I, are, I mean, I do like a sandwich. Well, I do too, but this particular <laughs> one's not so tasty. Is it a shit sandwich? It's, well, kind of. Here's oh. what it is it's basically saying people of our generation, and I say our generation to flatter myself because I'm a bit older well, than you. Well, we're Gen X. Yeah, you are Gen X. I That's am. right. I Excellent. Just, we're I just snuck, snuck in, in there. there. And I'm yeah. like almost like before Gen X, and I don't know what that's called, but. Uh, it's not boomers because there's something between. Yeah, there's what gotta is, be. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't think know. it's. No one's thought of a name yet. Doesn't no, no, matter. No, it doesn't matter. Keep Those going. people don't matter. No, uh, fuck them. Go but, ahead. Uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> sandwich generation. Sandwich generation. It means that we are the generation that is both funding our parents um, and our children. Ooh, right. So it's yeah. like yeah, like because our because the parents. A lot of parents did not plan very well for retirement. Sure. And children are just children, and they're. It's illegal to make them work to get money. So it is now, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Once upon a time in the golden age, mm. make America great again, like it was back when there was child labor. Yeah, yeah. Make um, America kids lose some limbs. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's a small price to pay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, that's why we're the sandwich generation because like we're just basically bleeding money out of both ends because both upward toward our parents and downward towards our kids. Wow. And neither one of us has any kids, so we're just Yay. like that open faced sandwich yeah. generation. We're, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Anyway, I like that. I do open too. Open faced yeah, generation. This is, this is, that's pretty good. I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard, but you know. I mean, okay. Well, you know, I got unisexy, and you get. And I open got open faced sandwich generation. Okay. It's like this stuff is made for t-shirts. I'm just it's, saying. Okay. Well, I hope. One one day Maybe we have a merch could, shop. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty easy to do these days. We could do that. Uh, in any case, back then, RAs were all narcs. They were people who, eat, maybe they were poor and they needed help to get through school, and that's fine. Great. But a lot of them were cheap, and they like were like, oh, I can make some money and live in the dorm for free, because they basically got free room and board. Oh, shit. And they only had to pay tuition. Oh. So that was that was a good deal for them. And what them. was your attitude towards RAs? Was that like generally fine. Like, get this like whatever, dude, get out of here? Same way I always felt about cops. They're fine. I just don't really want them around me. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Anyway, sandwich generation. Here we are. RAs, narcs, go. RA comes right. around. Like what's, what's yeah. Going so on with so the, power? the RA is like, oh well, somebody must have uh, like you know really plugged in too many things into one outlet. So. He goes and flips the switch, and we see he flips the switch. So I, I, I know how, but it's it's a key lock oh. thing. Like, so you can't get into the circuit breaker without the key. But you're 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 clocking it like okay, if yeah, this happens, if this happens this again, is where we the could panel come here. And, is. Like, yeah, got it. But I, yeah, but I can't do anything because there's yeah. a key. In any case, so at least we know what's up. So okay, I end up taking those wires and uh, duct taping them to the painted um, hmm. cinder block wall. Okay, okay so that. There, and I put like a bunch of layers of duct tape so that there's no chance that anybody's going to touch anything and nothing's going to get touched. It's, you know, the, the, it's not grounded, but it's also not available to be touched. So it's basically safe. It's, it's totally <laughs> kind of safe. Um, it's safe adjacent. It's, 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 uh, it's a short commute to safe from there. Yeah. Okay. We'll cool. call it that. Perfect. Um, so anyway, we, we live like that for quite some time and it's, you know, it's, it's fine. It is what it is. But the thing about when, when we're living in this dorm and you're, and you're sleeping in these lofts, once you get in, like to climb up to a six foot loft, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. It's not something like if you have to pee in the middle of the night, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ, you really have to go. Do I really have to pee? Because then I have to jump down off of this thing, go pee, and then I have to come back, climb back up. And by that time, I might be fully awake. I'm awake, And it's a whole thing. Mm. So back in those days, I used to have to read 
right up until the moment when I fell asleep because otherwise my oh. brain would get carried away from me. It's really <sighs> interesting. We're in this yeah. we're in this time now of mindfulness where it's like really important to be present in every moment. Yeah. A lot of my life I found that I was really needing to get away from what was happening in order to get any kind of meaningful rest. Yeah, because you know? sometimes your mind is kind of your worst enemy. Yeah. So you don't want to give it any more attention than you have to. Right. So well, like, I mean... Uh, I, I, mean, I don't I, feel that way now. I don't think it's healthy. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Right. I'm just saying that sometimes your my mind is is like, hey, you're a dick, and I'm like, hey, mind, shut up. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna watch some TV or read this. Yeah, right. I, so I, you I, drown out the mind, yeah. the dick mind. Yeah, that's fuck telling you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's way better to actually be in touch with yourself enough that you can be like, oh sure, I'm doing this again, and I need to stop. And now oh, I'm of gonna, course, yeah. yeah. But it can be easier to just go full Western with it and drown the shit out. So it's like, yeah. So that's sure. what I used to have to do. Got it. Um, and I used to read like uh, two books a week. That was my average. Like I would, I just read a Holy lot. Holy shit. Well, it was, I mean. That's, that's a lot. It, it was. And it was all science fiction. It was all like total candy and awesome. And Sounds I loved good to it. me. Yeah, I know, right? Um, but, uh, but so I, I would, my thing was, I just was always, I always read right up until I fell asleep. Okay. So one night. Um, and I don't know why it took this long to happen, but I'm sitting, I'm laying in bed and I'm reading and Finn is in his loft and he's like, John, I'm like, yeah. He goes, turn out the light. I'm trying to sleep. I'm like, dude, I, I'm reading, you know, I'm like, I'll turn out the light when I'm done reading, which is a lie because I'm really going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep because that's the whole idea of the reading yeah. is that it makes me think about this thing until I'm so tired that I just pass out. If I had to get up out of the loft, go turn out the light and then come back, I'm right back in. I've already thought of six things wrong with Got me it. So that's yeah. it's you have to get out of your you have to get off the loft turn to out turn the out the light. Got it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cuz we like we should have bought a clapper or something. I don't yeah. know. It would have been would have been amazing. Uh but uh no, we didn't we didn't uh have that so i so i told him no i'm just gonna i, I said I'm, i'll turn it off when i'm done reading and then i'm reading and about five minutes later he's like john turn out the light and i'm like listen i'm reading if you want the light out that bad you get out of your loft and go over to the switch on the wall and turn it off and then crawl up in your loft in the dark but if i do that i'm gonna be awake again and it's gonna be bullshit because i'm gonna be laying here thinking about shit I don't want to be thinking about. Right. And he's like, if you don't get up and turn out the light, <laughs> and he reaches down, and he can reach the plate in the wall where the <gasps> wires are no. from his loft. Oh, this is amazing. Yes, 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 yes. So. <laughs> uh-huh. Sorry. Because, yes, yeah. Continue. So Finn knows all he has to do <laughs> is touch that wire to that plate and that light's going to be out. And so is everybody, everybody else's, else's power on the whole floor. And, yeah. and we, this is, this, okay, I accuse him of being lazy. I was kind of lazy too um, um. because we had, we had rigged our schedules this particular semester so that we only had classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Good for you. So basically we were five days off Two days on. It's pretty good. Yeah. And it was, I don't know if it was a Tuesday night or a Thursday night, but either way, you we, neither one it. of us had any classes the next day, but it was a time when there were a lot of exams. I don't remember exactly which ones. <sighs> wow. So anyway, I looked at him and I'm like, if you touch that wire <laughs> to that plate, you're going to short out the power for the whole floor. And, and I'm not getting out of my law. I'm not, I'm not doing that because I didn't do, I'm not the one doing this. If, if anybody's doing this, it's you. I'm like, people's alarms are not going to go off in the morning. You know, it's like people have, consequences. we didn't have phones that did that without being plugged in anyway. Like if you're. So yeah, yeah. I, I went immediately, oh, people are probably studying. They're finishing last minute thing. Oh shit. Alarms. Yeah. That was a, that was a thing back then. Yeah. And like, the thing is, ugh. because it's one of our, because it's one of our many, many nights where we don't have shit to do the next day. Yeah. Um, we, it's late. It's like one in the morning. Sure. So people are already crashing out. They're yeah. already crashed out. Yeah. Uh, might have been later than that. I don't know. But uh, so I look at him. I'm like, people are going to miss their exams and they're going <laughs> to. So fucked up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah. So I looked and he's like, he's like, if you don't do it, I'm going to do it. And I, and I looked him dead in the eye and I'm like, I don't believe you'll do it. Oh, shit. I don't believe that you will, that you will hurt so many people. Innocent bystanders. Yeah. Just uh, to get your way because I can't get into that circuit breaker to flip that switch. It's locked. And nobody's going to know. Yeah. I mean, if we get lucky, maybe somebody's awakened would see that the power went out and know enough to go talk to somebody and do that. <sighs> he looked me in the eye and he goes, five. Oh, shit. Four. And the thing is, at this point, we're both totally awake. I think I'm in love with Finn. I, I know. <laughs> I know. It's hard not to. It's hard not to. When he's there with you yeah, man. And, and, and he's shining the sun on you, mm. it's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. This, is, this is a bit of a recurring thing. I, I've had a couple of friends who are kind of this way where yeah. they, they just make you feel so great when they're around and then they just don't come around. Ever. Sure, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but anyway, uh, so if four, three, and we're looking at each other and, and we're both giggling at this point because I'm like, I don't believe that you're going to do this, but I kind of believe you might do this. Yeah. And it, three, two... He did it. He did it. He touched the wire to the wall, and just as we knew would happen, the light, the lights went out. Well, I mean, he he got the light out. He did. He got what he wanted, and he didn't have to get out of his out of his uh, loft. We both lay there in the dark, giggling for like five minutes, and I'm like, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> Oh, no. Now, you might think that that's the end of the story. Or you might think that just people woke up and were angry in the morning. There you would be right. Mm. But if you think that's where it ends, you're wrong. Bring it. Because here's how it went down. Everybody is getting up. What the hell? The power's out. I missed my first exam. I'm like, oh. I'm like, everybody's freaking out. They're, they're going up and down the hall. Finn... Looks at me, puts on his bathrobe, and goes out in the hall. He's like, what the fuck, man? The power's out. I was supposed to be up two hours ago. What the hell? He starts leading a mob he's, up and down the hall, he's... trying to figure out who it was who knocked out the power. Yeah. Because he's... This he's, is, he's improving. He He's improving, just like he did that night at the high school. Mm -hmm. But the other thing, he's George costanza -ing, because I will tell you this, he's... <laughs> He's, he's leading this mob up and down the hall, and he comes in, and he shuts the door, and he sits down, and he's like, God damn it. I'm like, Finn. He's like, what? I go, you do remember it's you, right? And he looked at me, and I shit you not. He went, oh, yeah. No. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He had gotten himself so worked up trying to figure out who did this, he forgot that it was him. He's a good actor. He's, he's a psychopath. Com I, committed to the role. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. a psychopath. No, but the George Costanza thing is, it's not a lie Yeah. if you believe it. Totally. So he, I mean, like, this is, this is the level yeah. of psychopathy yeah. he, uh, he was capable of, is that he did a thing, a lot of people got angry about it, and then he went and whipped them all up into a frenzy and became their leader. Yeah. <laughs> It's very Trumpian. It's, it's, it it's, is. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's yeah. intense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, like, that was so. It. Then we went on about our lives, okay. and there are probably a couple other stories that I may tell at some point about, <laughs> about good old Finn. But yeah, that was uh, that was the world's laziest man in the world. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm in love with Finn. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He's he really is a pretty great guy. It's, I yeah. There's just the, that that thing or two that. Stands in the way of us being best friends forever. <laughs> Speaking of electricity. Yes, Kat. Okay, so the story I'm going to tell uh -huh. in the timeline of Kat. This is, uh, I was in high school. Okay. And this was the the summer between junior and senior year. Excellent. <laughs> That's a time that actually exists. And I uh, I still had my secret girlfriend. Mm -hmm. We were going strong. This is Sarah? This is Sarah. Okay. Yes. How did yeah. you know? You know, it's it's so easy to keep track of the women in your life. I mean, it's I have a type apparently. Yeah, Sarah. Um, type. And so uh, she had a uncle and aunt who lived in Utah. Okay. And this she, does not surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't religious. Hmm. That surprises yes. me. Yes. So she was a year older than me. Okay. Okay. And so. 
uh, she wanted to go visit them Mm -hmm. over the summer break. And she said, you should come with me. It'll be great. We'll go. We'll drive out there. We'll have a great time. So she's just graduated. No, she's she's a year ahead. Her birthday was in October. Right. Mine is in September. But you're in the same grade. We're in the same grade. Gotcha. That's a whole... I mean... When I was old enough to get into preschool, mm-hmm. by just like I just turned four, I guess preschool, huh? Fancy. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> is that fancy? I had no preschool. There was no such oh. thing as preschool. Well, for I me. think my mom was done. Okay. I just don't think it existed for me. I used to have to stay oh. at the nice winders. In Got the it. Afternoon. What's a nice winder? That's the is last that like name a... of some people? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like a store or something. No, nope, no, nope. Miss, <laughs> Mrs. Nice Winder. Sounds like a grocery store in the Midwest. No, nope. the main thing I remember is it was I had to go there when I was a kid, when my mom was at work, and we Aww. ate roller coasters, which I are, don't know what that is either. It's basically spaghettios, but they it's just the noodles are oh, shaped different. And I love meatballs. roller coasters. Yeah, duh. Dude. Okay. That sounds great. So that's my story of the nice winders and the roller coasters. <laughs> nice winders sounds like a good deal. Yeah. 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 So I mean, it, the best part was the roller coasters. That's all. <laughs> Fair I mean, enough. Okay. That's what you remember. Uh-huh. So, was, as, you know, as soon as my mom could get me into preschool, she did. Right. You know, I don't blame her for that, but I always, I never really, I was never a good student. I always felt a little behind everybody else. You, you failed preschool? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't excel in preschool. Like, okay. I just, I don't know. I feel like I... I'm glad I knew all the friends that I knew through my, you know, school years and they were all my friends and stuff, but academically, I always, I was, I was just always behind. I was maybe not ready to get in, to be put into the public school system. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Was it more social or academic or? Academic. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't matter. No. What matters is her parents were cool with her driving to Utah for the summer. Nice. And my parents were like, you're not going. You're too young. (laughs) Like, no, it's not going to happen. They were, my parents were very protective yeah. Um. And I had to like. I just. I. I threw a hissy fit. It's like mm-hmm. I. You know. I. Come on, you guys. I never asked for anything. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, fine. You can go. Wow. They let me go. That's amazing. I know. You clearly demonstrated <laughs> that you wanted this more than so many more other things. More than like that, yeah. anything. And mm-hmm. you know, again, at the time, like it's so like this is everything. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Like it's. It's she and I. We're gonna go. It's gonna be this adventure. Please let me go. So they're like, fine, you can go, but like, you know, just be, don't, just be careful. Don't say anything stupid, please. Mm. God, just be careful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be amazing. Yay. So we got in her like crappy 1980s Honda Accord. Mm-hmm. It's green, like bilious green, just gross, <laughs> Billy, amazing. Bilious green. Billy That's green. such a lovely, yeah, yeah. yeah. good image. Mm-hmm. So we drive across country to Utah, and her her family was very active. Mm-hmm. They would go mountain biking and ATVing, and like they're very much a everything I wanted to do. That right, my family is not that. Right, they're little waspiers. <laughs> we get that. It's, yeah, yeah, they prefer to sit and just you know enjoy a nice, comfortable booth at a restaurant. Like that's you sure. Know, like if yeah. there's a t- if it's a booth if it's a table not a booth that's roughing it mm. you know that's how okay. the, that's how we roll. I love a booth. I, oh, I'm not I'm not ashamed is, to admit. Is there it. anything better than a booth? Come on, <laughs> it's like your own little room yes. inside the room, right? Yeah, exactly. So that being said, you know we're gonna go have we're gonna go have some outdoor adventures. We're gonna go hiking. We're gonna you know whatever. So we drive to Utah. Everything's fine. We there's a there's a lake nearby. I forget the name of the lake. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. And you can rent boats. It's in Utah. It's in Utah, but it may have been on the border of I'm, of something. Uh huh. I'm gonna go with Lake Powell, maybe because it's a really big lake that goes across three states. That sounds exactly right. Were you anywhere near Kanab, Utah? Maybe. No? Okay. I bet you're right. Powell sounds right. Yeah. yeah. We're we're going with that. Nice. It's a really big fucking lake. So, so Lake I, Powell is yeah. nearby. Right. <laughs> And we're going to go, and we're going to go have a fun day, just the two of us, on the lake. Awesome. Great. Totally great. She can, yeah. Why not? She can rent a boat when she's 17 or... So, so cut, time out. This makes me think it was senior year. Ah. So, it would have been before she got kicked out, though. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. Ah, It's a little muddy. The timeline is muddy. Okay. You know what? It's it's been a minute. Who's going to fact check this? I don't know. Maybe Sarah. (laughs) I would love for her... 
we're uh. I, at some point we're going to hear from Sarah, and I welcome it. And Sarah, me too. You're welcome. I hope yeah. she would like to come on mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. speak to me again. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, so I we- would sit back and shut up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, you know I can't do that. No, please, no. John, come mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. So we get a boat. And we're, you know, we're at the little boat, boat hut. I don't know. I like boat hut. <laughs> I hope there's a big sign up there in neon that says boat hut. Boat hut. Boat hut. And posted off to the side, there's this like sandwich board. Okay. And it tells you the weather report for the day. Mm-hmm. And there's a slight chance of thunderstorms. There's like maybe a 17% chance of thunderstorms. They have to tell you that. Right. It's up to you whether, whether or not you decide... To rent a boat. Mm. And we look at each other and go, 17%. It's like <laughs> That's yeah. practically nothing. No. It's, it's hardly a registers on the on the on the meter. Yeah. We're getting a boat. Totes. I'm amazed that they would rent boats to <laughs> people who are like, are you at tops 18, right? At, at tops 18. You can't rent a car until you're 25. Exactly. Like, it, yeah. You know, it's Utah. It's the 90s. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all very carefree. And, sure. Yeah. Lucy Goosey. <laughs> you know how it is. Sure. Yeah. Totally. That way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so we sign the waiver. Yep. We, you know, sign off all responsibility. It's all on us now, right? Yeah. And it's just, a. it's like, it's a, it's a very simple boat. It's essentially... I don't know what it's called. It's just like a big, it's a big aluminum boat with a outboard motor. It's a little motor boat. Okay. It's just it's like a, a flat bottom or? Yeah, it's very simple. There's not, there's, there's just like this, you know, the, the benches that go across it, but that's it. It's not like a fucking, you know, it's not like a little yacht or anything. Right. Like, no. It's not a pontoon boat. It's just mm-hmm. a little. I, I don't know why, and it's, it, this is not narcissism. I, it sounds like what I used to think of as a John boat. Sure. Which is, yeah, it's like a flat bottom fishing boat. That's exactly it. Super okay. simple. Yep. You, you're throwing some gear in there and you're heading out to maybe go drop yep. drop your line. John okay. is like the most common boring name in the world. That's why they called the boat that because that's what kind of boat that is. Sure. And also <laughs> like when you're going to use the bathroom, you're going to the John. Right. How's Thanks that, for that. How do you like that? Yeah. And you know what? It's also what you call the customers of prostitutes. So my name comes from a great long line. And also when some random dude shows up dead, he's a John Doe. Sure. <laughs> Wow, we could do this all night. Hey, cat. Yes. Fuck you. Okay. (laughs) Copy that. (laughs) So we sign up for this boat. We get this boat. It's an it's an aluminum boat. Mm -hmm. Keeping in mind, uh, with an outboard motor. Mm -hmm. Great. And I've never, I've never, we've never gone. I've never gone water skiing. Like this is all new territory for oh, me. Oh wow! So you're just not like a water person at all. I mean, I, I, you know, I've, I can swim. Right, I'm, that's good. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable on the water, although I get horribly seasick. But <laughs> I, wait, let me, wa- wait. I just want to. I just can I just unpack that for a second? Oh please. I'm comfortable on the water. Of course, I get horribly seasick. That says to me. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you actually are comfortable throwing up. So yeah, that's fine. Exactly. Uh-huh. There we Thank go. Thank you. That's a nice point little- made. You know, yeah. came back around there. Mm-hmm. And so we're out on the boat and we're on the lake. We're having a great time. Right. There's, and there's lots of other people on the on the lake, right? It's it's in the middle of summer. Sure. And it's a large lake. It's huge in lake. the middle. So people are enjoying their time. Mm-hmm. There's jet skiers. There's water skiers. There's big fucking power boats. There's all kinds, everything you can imagine. And she was like, would you want to steer for a minute? And she's steering because like she's done this before and this is not new territory. Right. She's like, do you want to steer for a minute? I said, yeah, I do. This totally. Sounds, yes. Like, mm-hmm. uh, fuck yeah, dude. So I, I go in the, like we switch spots. I go in the back and I'm in control of the motor. Mm-hmm. So basically I can control the throttle. So you've actually got the, it's the kind, there's not even a steering wheel at the front. Right. Okay. It's a, you it's know. It's a full on John boat. It's yeah. a John boat. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And so I, I have the throttle or whatever that is. Yep. And I'm like, it's very simple. Like, mm-hmm. you know, steer, point this way. If you want to go that way, yep. point that way. Put it forward if you want to go fast. There you put go. it backward if you want to slow down or go in reverse. <laughs> and so we're out on this lake. And I'm, you know what? I'm, lo- I'm loving life. This yeah. is so much fun. And the sun is shining. Mm-hmm. Everything's great. Yeah. But it's and, Utah. But it's Utah. It's big sky country. Yeah. yeah. It's, but it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. We're having a great day. Excellent. And what could go wrong? So, uh, you know, there are other boats on the water and this one kind of speedboat kind of just goes, brrr, speeds by and it creates this wake. Wake. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's, that looks like fun. Maybe I hit, I just got it. Uh huh. And my idea is that I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to just go right over that wake. Well, 
I, I, I don't want to interrupt this, this momentum, but no, th- when there is a wake, yeah. the, the way that you want to approach that wake is straight on to it, like across it. Okay. You would, it's oh, better to ramp it oh, than good. to try to go over it on the side because that's what can actually flip you. Capsize you. you. Yeah, okay, great. Exactly. Well, and I'm I'm not I'm doing it not because oh I hope we oh, this don't. This looks like fun. It's like this is a uh, it's basically a water ramp. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like right as we're about to hit it, she says, "What are you doing?" Like she doesn't get it out. We hit the water. Right. We hit the we hit the wake. Yep. And we launch. Yes. We get air. Yes. <laughs> but John, these boats are not made for this. No. <laughs> we get air, and we. Good, like we slam down. Oh yeah, like concrete. Th- things like, are yeah. flying. Yeah. I almost fell out. Like she's like, "What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to do that." The best part is that <laughs> there's another part of the wake on the other there's side. Another side. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Duh, duh, like a double hit. <laughs> and I'm like in shock. I'm like, "Oh God!" Like we, I could have just killed us. Sure. Like what? Okay. Well, but you didn't. But I didn't, and nobody told me not to do it. <laughs> Like, I don't know what I'm doing. There's so many things you shouldn't do, and I can't think of all of them to tell you. <laughs> I wasn't you. on the waiver. No. How am I supposed to know? No, you're not. I'm not. You're totally innocent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so she's like, okay, get out. Of, like, I'm I'm staring now. Like, right. you've lost your privileges. Mm-hmm. Get over there. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. So she's, she takes the helm. She's the captain now. There you go. <laughs> I'm the captain now. She... <laughs> <laughs> So we're cruising along, and uh, we had packed a little lunch, and she's, we're like, okay, well, there's like, um, we can go to the other side of the lake and just kind of find a random beach somewhere, sure. and just, you know, have have a nice little quiet time. Mm-hmm. We'll just go and have some lunch, and you know, whatever. And so we do that. We go, we we we, <laughs> we pull the boat up onto uh, the shore across mm-hmm. the lake, and we're having a little, our little picnic. And the clouds start to come in pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And um starts to get a bit of a wind starts picking up. Sure. And we're noticing, but we're like, it's fine. It's probably nothing, right? Like, it's probably not a big deal. No, I'm, I mean, it's not like the weather in Utah can change very rapidly or, yeah. I'm sure no. it's fine. Mm-hmm. And so um, quite suddenly, uh, the skies open up. Sure. Yeah. And uh, a hailstorm starts. So a good size hail is now pelting us and everything around us. Okay, so like popcorn size or um, a golf ball, golf, golf ball, golf ball, golf. Ball. Good, good size hail. That's that's good size. And you know, I'm I'm a California girl. Never seen hail before at this really? point. Hmm. At this young age, never. I have actually seen softball sized hail in Pennsylvania that's as a kid. So but fucked up. It's super fucked up. Like, I mean, there was, yeah. But anyway. Oh, God, that's just. If you, if you haven't seen it at all, it's pretty fucking scary. <laughs> Can you imagine being one of the first humans during a hailstorm? Like, what is fucking happening? Like, can, these can, projectiles are coming. The gods are throwing projectiles I, this at is, us. This is exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. This is where religion came from. Maybe, yeah. I don't understand what's happening, but the world hates me. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, there must be a God yeah. that I have offended in some way. Exactly. There must be a powerful, uh, someone who is exactly like me, <laughs> but bigger and more powerful yeah. is angry with me. So I should do something to make him not angry. Like kill a thing. I'm going to kill this guy. Y- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bob, come here. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? What? Yeah. Thank you. That's how we got religion. <laughs> and scene. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, exactly. So the skies open up. Mm-hmm. The gods are angry. Yep. And we're wearing, we're like in tank tops and shorts. Like yeah. we're not prepared for a thunderstorm. No. And so we Much have. Much less a hailstorm. <laughs> I should say that. We we're, were not prepared for. Uh, ugh, spoiler. We're not prepared for a hailstorm. Right. And so, I, you know, we're scrambling like, and there's nothing, there's no shelter around. It's not like there's some, you know, campsite nearby. Mm-hmm. It's just like scrub brush, essentially. There's right. no, there's nothing to get under. Yep. And so we're kind of in shock, like, oh, shit. It's when you turn the boat upside down and get under it. Sh- yeah, maybe. We could have done that. Um, <laughs> Although it is a metal boat. So. Yeah. Well, okay. And uh-huh. then also the, the waves are kind of lapping. It's, yep. it's kind of crazy out there. Yep. A little, little choppy. I'm not saying you get in the water under the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, and so not long after the hail starts, that's when we start to hear the thunder. Mm-hmm. And thunder is very, it sounds like it's close. Yep. 
And so, you know, we, uh, we, one of us had a sweatshirt or something. And so we're kind of huddled. We, we, we run from the shore, we're huddled. Um, and we have the sweatshirt over the both of us. And, um, we start to actually see a lightning striking. Oh, so that's fucking scary. And not far from where we are. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a, I, I had never and haven't since seen lightning strike. John? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the fear of God. I, I was going to say, that's another way that religion <sighs> started. It's like Holy you see fuck. that and you're like, yeah, nothing that I can do comes anywhere close to no. that level of power. No. So there must be somebody out there who's way more powerful than I am. And we yeah. were scared. Yeah. And that was when, when we saw the lightning strike, we're like, oh, we're fucked. Mm-hmm. And like suddenly, you know, the shore, on the other side of the shore, where, like, where how we would get back to our car or mm-hmm. even to civilization seems so much farther than it was a minute ago. Sure. Like, oh, we're fucked. <laughs> we're yeah. so fucked. And so um, maybe not the best decision. Uh, it's like, well, we got to get out of here. Mm-hmm. We got to get out of here. Yep. Let's go in the metal boat. But... The problem is it is very choppy now, and we can't uh, we can't get the boat. Uh, the boat keeps getting um, we jump in the boat, but it keeps getting pushed back onto right. the thing. Right, and so um, we're trying to push it out, uh, so we're not getting stuck, and we got to yeah, get the you motor can't start away. Start the engine until you're out deep enough that it's not going to hit the rocks. Exactly, yeah. mm-hmm. and so we're you know we're kind of in we're kind of in frantic mode. Sure, uh, we're we're not we're not we're not staying chill. You're not super rational at this point. No. Zero chill. Mm-hmm. Zero chill. And um, we get the boat far enough away, and she starts working on that motor. It's not starting. Mm-hmm. The motor's not starting. Right. And um, <laughs> this was, like, genuinely, I, I was like, oh, we're going to be stuck out here. Like, we're, yeah. I'm going to start trying to get someone's attention. So I picked up our, we had um, life jackets that we weren't wearing. No. <laughs> when we were in the boat. Why would you do that? <laughs> And I start like wait. I'm waving it around. I'm yep. trying to get someone's attention. Like they're orange. They're probably. orange and yeah. bright and mm-hmm. like you know kind of obvious. And we're in like survival mode. Like yeah. okay, well this is not fun anymore. This has been a horrible mistake. Mm-hmm. We got to get out of here as yep. fast as we can. And right. so you know most waving, trying to get out. She's working on this motor. It's not. It's not starting. And eventually, the hail stops. Thunder start stops. <laughs> The clouds open up. Uh-huh. It's sunny again. Nice. It's not as choppy. And, you know, we're kind of just take a moment and like breathe and be thankful that we're not dead. Mm-hmm. We get the motor started and we just head straight back for the marina. Yep. And, you know, we <laughs> we come in and the guys are like, hey, how, you know, well, it's crazy, right? Crazy weather. Like, yeah. Can we just, can we get out of here? Like, can we get our license back? Like whatever the fuck. Like we just have to get out of here. Like uh-huh. it was. It was one of those moments where it's like, oh yeah, no, we could absolutely have just died. Yeah, we just experienced trauma, and we need to leave. Yeah, please, yeah. Mm-hmm. just can we go to our car? And we actually did. Like we just kind of sat in the car for a second, and we're just like, well, that was horrible. Yeah, <laughs> that was not a. That was not a good day. No, not at all. <laughs> I mean, well, it, it, up <sighs> until right up until. Everything went to shit. It was probably. It, was it sounds a, like it was pretty fun. It was. It was pretty good. You and jumped awake and you. Yeah, you know. I almost you know capsized. Mm-hmm. But it was one of those things where it's like flashback to my parents saying, "Just be careful and like don't do anything stupid." It's like, uh-huh. oh, what if? Okay, so what if we had gotten struck by lightning or the boat capsized and I had drowned, and you know my parents would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's. That's, that's, the, that's worst the worst part. Thing. Yeah, when your parents are right, God, Ugh. doesn't that suck? That's the worst. Yeah, here, I got a, I got a hint for you. Most of you, not all of you, <laughs> but most of you, your parents are right. Yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah. And you know that kind of cemented my, you know, the idea that like, oh no, expect the worst. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of this is something my parents have taught me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> expect expect the worst. Uh-huh. Assume horrible things will happen. Right. So just don't do anything. <laughs> Don't leave the house. Don't. It's not, it, they didn't say expect the worst, so prepare for it. No, no, no it's no. like just don't put yourself in any kind of danger at all. No, ever. Don't, like, don't do that. No, you're asking why, why would for you do it. That? Yeah. yeah, so yeah. that kind of set the <laughs> that set set the kind of you know the tone for me for mm-hmm. a while. It's like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. no, they're right. Everything's horrible. Sure, the world wants to kill me. Yeah, no, it's I yeah. 
I, I think, like, here's the, here's the kids who are listening to this. First yes. of all, you shouldn't be listening to this because we use dirty words. Oh, terrible. And Go to bed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but but subscribe first. Oh, please. And yeah. rate us. And yeah, and give us the ratings. Um, but here here's the thing. I have no stake in this. I like you, you, you could, uh, you know, yeah. you, you could be there. You could not be there. Who cares? Your parents are mostly right. If, if you hang out with people who do shitty things, yeah. you might end up being a <laughs> shitty person. If, if you hang out with people who take like outrageous risks, it's probably not going to be good for your future. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just so you know, I'm like, I'm telling you, do, you don't have to change your behavior, but no. just, just know that somebody who isn't your parents, yeah, who you're genetically predisposed to automatically not believe and hate um somebody who's not them is saying to you they're probably kind of right yeah, yeah there's some yeah. truth there yeah and maybe just think about it before yeah. you do something stupid yeah yeah just just hold back yeah, i don't know whatever i don't know what's go, fine go ahead who cares go get a boat do that thing fuck it get a boat <laughs> <laughs> so that's that that is that <sighs> <sighs> So listen. Yes, Kat. If you let's say John, let's say that you were listening to us. You're you're a listener. I'm a listener. And you're like, hey, I have a almost got struck by lightning story. Mm-hmm. How would you reach out to us to let us know uh, about that story? I would immediately grab my internet enabled device, mm. and I would probably just type off an email, mm-hmm. a telegram, if you will, to. My mistake podcast at gmail.com. That's fantastic. And relay that story. <laughs> and uh, you know, at, at the at the worst, we're gonna read it. Oh, for it, sure. Like next tier up, like the, the gold tier is we're gonna read it on the air. Right. And if it's really good, Ooh. we're probably gonna contact you and ask you if we can have you on the show. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um so just do that. Do do that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Also. Huh. I, I I just there's there's a thing. Oh. Are, are, have we are, are we are we kind of post show proper? Because I have a question. Hundred percent. I have a question. And I think I I feel like this is something that I'd like to introduce as a segment. I love it. Questions for our listeners. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not necessarily mistake based. Sometimes they might be. Okay. Okay. This is my question, and it involves oral mm. hygiene. Oh. Uh huh. There you go. Um. It involves flossing, people. Some of us do it all the time. Some of us do it some mm. of the time. Mm. Some of us do it a lot less often okay. than we should. Or less frequently. I think frequently is the better word there. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay. I'm correcting myself, too. I just don't want you to feel lonely I appreciate that. Okay, excellent. Uh, so when you floss, uh-huh. uh, I want to know, do you floss before you brush your teeth? Huh. Or do you floss after you brush your teeth? Interesting. Yeah. Because I have a very strong opinion on this that I'm not going to reveal well, right now. Apparently I do too. I never thought about it, but mm-hmm. of course I have a very yeah. strong opinion. But I, and, and I had such a strong opinion, I didn't realize that you could have the opposite opinion <laughs> until fairly recently. I can't wait to get into when this. When it was brought to my attention that some people <laughs> do the are other clearly thing. wrong right. about this. So please, if you don't mind, I love take this. This five is good. seconds... Send us an email, brush first or floss first. That's Love all it. you have to say. Love it. And if you have like a long treatise, mm. if you want to write a manifesto on why you do one or the if other you first. Feel strongly about this. Do that. But like, honestly, just a quick brush first or floss first would be great. I love Send it. Send that to mymistakepodcast at gmail.com or. Or you, you can put it on our Facebook page, yep. which is My Mistake the Podcast. Yep. Just search for that on Facebook. You'll find it. You can like the page, follow the page. That yeah. would be great because you'll get notices every time we put up a, put up a new episode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and you, also get some bonus material that we post there sometimes. Yes, there mm-hmm. is some bonus stuff. There and we're going to start posting uh, pictures. Yeah. And like, oh, this is the... You remember that story John told about being in college? This is a picture of him in college. Like, exactly. We're going we're to do that. We gonna, promise. You, it's going to be so... good. You, you, oh, you're going to love it. We're going to give you visual aids, <laughs> which is the best kind. <laughs> it's the best kind of aids. It, it is. <laughs> um, and listen, could you also... Um, wherever you are, you are listening to us, if it's iTunes or like Google Play or whatever the fuck... Mm-hmm. If you can rate us, yes, get leave us a review. That would be huge. Subscribe. Do all those things. It would be really great if you did that. 
the yeah, if you could do that for us, we'd appreciate it because um, the better we do in those uh, those situations, the better we feel about what we're doing, and the more we're going to do it, and the right. more the and better it's going to be. It, the better it's going to be, <laughs> and the more time and energy we're going to put into it, we're going to yeah. create bonus material. Yeah, at some point there may be a way that you could get like a little extra mistake yeah. you know some kind of exclusive bonus. mistakes yeah exactly so help us help you get better and even more entertaining content indeed do that mm. send us email at mm. my mistake podcast at gmail.com mm. all right i want to one more time because we don't do this frequently enough and we it should. needs to be more common i want to thank kitsch yes. memory kitsch memory yeah kitsch memory wrote the theme song to our podcast yes which is amazing and he he created it he's he, he's the musician on every one of those instruments yeah he's the guy he's like the he's guy. the whole orchestra he's the guy yeah and you can check out his stuff at i'm pretty sure it's kitschmusic.com kitsch, there you go but if you just search for kitsch memory you will find some great music from this dude he's yes. a musician he's a composer um look him up he's great yeah M E M B R Y. Yes. Kitch memory. That's it. Awesome. We love you, Kitch. We love you, Kitch. So much, Kitch. And we love you, <laughs> listeners. We do. And you know what we say to let you know we love you. Say it with us F M P.